And it's now time for our daily fact-checking program, A Truth or Fake, with Vadika Bahel. Vadika, since the start of the war uh, between Israel and Hamas, uh, we've been talking about this uh, possibility of the conflict spilling over. We were just discussing it uh, with uh, Iris uh, Makler in Jerusalem. Mostly, of course, that talks about Lebanon, uh, about possibly uh, Iran, too. But you've seen viral posts online alleging that Algeria has declared a war on Israel. What is this about? Yes, Ketvan, that is correct. Posts like these uh, have been racking up hundreds and thousands of views on social media. I've seen these claims uh, in several languages, from English to Russian to Arabic uh, to French, and they're all sharing the same video claiming to show Algeria's parliament uh, voting unanimously uh, to authorize uh, Algeria's president, uh, President Tiboun, to go to war against Israel. Now, I also found this same video being used elsewhere, this same clip, like here in this YouTube video, Video, uh, that claims to explain uh, Algeria's new stance and going head to head with Israel. It also uses the claim that Muslim countries uh, are united on Gaza. Um, but these are very substantial claims that would have very substantial repercussions on the world on the world stage. Um, due to the geopolitical context here, um, Algeria and Israel do have very uh, poor relations. In fact, Algeria. Uh, refuses to recognize the state of Israel. Uh, they actually have no diplomatic relations. Um, so with that in mind, these viral posts uh, and videos claiming that Algeria uh, has declared war on the state of Israel are extremely dangerous indeed, Ketaman. And so now having fact-checked those claims, those videos, uh, what have you found, true or fake? Well, in order to verify uh, these claims. Uh, it was actually very important to first start with finding uh, the original video that we saw. Um, now, this logo here in the corner of our viral video, this logo is in fact the Enahar TV logo. This uh, Enahar TV is an Arabic language, uh, Algeria-based uh, news channel. Uh, and after doing a reverse image search uh, of frames from this video, I was able to track down uh, the, original, uh, the, the original video posted by Enahar TV itself uh, on their official YouTube channel. We can see that is uh, the exact same clip. Now, this was posted uh, 10 days ago, so it's been over a week, uh, and it's titled here in Arabic, Chilling Scenes of MPs Chanting the People's Army is With You, Gaza. Now, after finding out this date, uh, it soon became very clear what this was. Uh, and what this was was a parliamentary uh, session held by uh, the Algerian parliament dedicated to uh, supporting uh, Palestine and the Palestinian cause. And with that, uh, I was able to track down on the Algerian uh, parliament's official Facebook page their live broadcast of that, of that exact same uh, special uh, session there. And we can see that this is indeed uh, the same day. We know that because we can see the same people uh, in both uh, of these videos. Um, so that is clear that this is the same video. It might be a different angle, but it was very much the same day. Uh, and after this session, in fact, the Algerian uh, parliament actually released uh, a statement, if you will, uh, of its, uh, a statement of its, of a declaration, if you will, rather, uh, of its objectives of what it wants to achieve from that special edition session. Now, in this list, uh, there's mention of uh, condemning Israel's siege on Gaza. Uh, there's calling for international and regional aid uh, to Gaza and investigating what they've called war crimes against Israel, but there is no mention of declaring a war on Israel in any way, shape or form. So those claims are definitely false. But it's not just Algeria, apparently. You've seen uh, something similar, similar claims when it comes to Yemen. Yes, that is correct. Although these allegations have actually gone one step further, uh, implying that Yemen has already attacked uh, Israeli territory. Now, posts like these on X uh, have been sharing this video, uh, claiming of what they claim, of who they claim, is Yemen's army spokesman uh, announcing that it's launched a barrage of ballistic uh, missiles and drones on Israel. And indeed, words like this continue its attacks on Israel in those posts there do very much create a narrative 
uh, that they are already at war. However, it is very important to note uh, that Yemen is actually in the midst uh, of a civil war itself. Yemen's official government, which is recognized by the international community, has condemned uh, Israel's operations in Gaza, but it hasn't militarily intervened. Um, any rockets and drones uh, that have uh, been launched have been launched by the Iran-backed uh, Houthi rebels, uh, of which this man, Yahya uh, Sari, is their military uh, spokesperson there. So it's a very important distinction to make uh, between the Houthi rebels and the uh, internationally recognized Yemeni government, uh, and that the Yemeni government hasn't declared war uh, on Israel. And we have to be careful not to use those interchangeably uh, in the future. Vidika Bahel, thank you so much for digging into all of this.